The Quran, the holy book of Islam, is not only a spiritual guide, but also a source of profound wisdom and practical advice for living a meaningful and fulfilling life. Its verses offer timeless lessons that resonate across different cultures and eras, addressing the core aspects of human existence. From the importance of faith and compassion to the pursuit of knowledge and justice, the Quran provides a comprehensive framework for personal growth and societal harmony. In this book, we will explore five key life lessons that the Quran imparts, drawing insights from its teachings to help us navigate the challenges of modern life with grace and integrity. Faith, or Iman in Arabic, is the cornerstone of a Muslim's life. It represents an unwavering belief in the oneness of God, Allah, and His supreme power and wisdom. The Quran emphasizes that faith is not just a passive acceptance of religious tenets, but an active trust in God's plan, a commitment to His commandments, and a heartfelt devotion to His will. This deep-seated faith is a source of immense strength, providing believers with the courage to face life's challenges with patience and resilience. The concept of faith in the Quran is multifaceted, encompassing belief in God's existence, His attributes, His prophets, His revealed books, the Day of Judgment, and the Divine Decree. The Quran frequently reminds believers that God is all-knowing, all-wise and merciful, attributes that form the basis of their trust in Him. For instance, in Surah Al-Baqarah 2.286, it is stated, Allah does not burden a soul beyond that it can bear. This verse reassures believers that God, in His infinite wisdom, knows their capacity and will not subject them to trials they cannot endure. Such assurances foster a sense of trust and calm, allowing believers to approach life's adversities with confidence. The stories of prophets in the Quran serve as powerful illustrations of faith and trust in God. One of the most compelling examples is the story of Prophet Ibrahim, Abraham. Despite facing immense trials, including the command to sacrifice his beloved son, Ibrahim's faith in God never wavered. His absolute trust in God's wisdom and mercy was rewarded with divine intervention, sparing his son and bestowing blessings upon him. This narrative highlights that unwavering faith, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, brings divine support and blessings. Similarly, the story of Prophet Musa, Moses, demonstrates the power of faith in overcoming adversity. When Musa and the Israelites were trapped between Pharaoh's army and the Red Sea, their faith was put to the ultimate test. Musa's steadfast belief in God's promise led to the miraculous parting of the sea, providing a path to safety. This event underscores that faith in God can lead to miraculous solutions and deliverance from dire situations. Faith in God also brings inner peace and contentment. The Quran describes believers as those whose hearts find tranquility in the remembrance of God. Surah Arad, 1328. This spiritual tranquility stems from the knowledge that God is in control and that His plans are ultimately for the best. Believers are encouraged to remember God frequently through prayer, supplication, and reflection on His signs in the universe. This constant remembrance reinforces their trust in God's wisdom and providence, helping them maintain composure and positivity even in challenging times. Trusting in God also means accepting His decree, both in good times and bad. The Quran teaches that life's ups and downs are part of God's divine plan, designed to test and strengthen faith. In Surah Al-Baqarah, to 155-157, it is mentioned that believers will face trials such as fear, hunger, loss of wealth and lives. But those who remain patient and trust in God's plan are promised His blessings and mercy. This perspective encourages believers to view hardships not as punishments, but as opportunities for spiritual growth and closer connection with God. Moreover, 
faith in God encourages a sense of purpose and direction. Believers understand that their lives are part of a larger divine plan, which gives meaning to their actions and struggles. This sense of purpose motivates them to strive for righteousness, justice, and compassion, knowing that their efforts are valued by God and will be rewarded in this life and the hereafter. In practical terms, faith in God manifests in various aspects of a believer's life. It influences their ethical conduct, guiding them to act with integrity, honesty, and kindness. It shapes their relationships, fostering empathy, forgiveness, and mutual respect. It drives their pursuit of knowledge, encouraging them to seek understanding of God's creation and to use their knowledge for the betterment of humanity. In essence, faith in God permeates every aspect of a believer's life, providing a solid foundation for personal growth, social harmony, and spiritual fulfillment. Compassion and mercy are central themes in the Quran, reflecting the core attributes of God Himself. The Quran describes God as Ar-Rahman, the most compassionate, and Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, emphasizing that these qualities should also be embodied by his followers. Compassion in the Quran is not limited to fellow Muslims, but extends to all of humanity, and indeed, to all living beings. This universal compassion is a cornerstone of Islamic ethics, guiding believers to act with kindness, empathy, and forgiveness in their interactions with others. The Quran teaches that compassion begins with the family. Respect and kindness towards parents are repeatedly emphasized. In Surah Al-Isra, 1723, believers are commanded to honor their parents, speak to them kindly, and treat them with utmost respect, especially in their old age. This directive underscores the importance of family bonds and the compassionate care that should define these relationships. By nurturing compassion within the family, a foundation is laid for a more compassionate society. Compassion towards the less fortunate is another significant aspect of the Quranic teachings. Believers are encouraged to care for orphans, the poor, and the needy. In Surah Al-Baqarah 2.177, righteousness is described as giving of one's wealth out of love for God to relatives, orphans, the needy, travelers, and those who ask for help. This verse highlights that true piety is not just about ritual worship, but also about selfless acts of compassion and generosity. By helping those in need, believers demonstrate their gratitude to God and their commitment to social justice. The concept of zakat, one of the five pillars of Islam, institutionalizes this compassionate giving. Zakat is an obligatory form of almsgiving where a certain percentage of one's wealth is distributed to the less fortunate. This practice ensures a systematic and equitable redistribution of wealth, alleviating poverty and reducing social inequality. Through Zakat, believers learn to detach from material possessions and develop a sense of responsibility towards their community. Forgiveness is another crucial element of compassion in the Quran. Believers are urged to forgive others, just as they seek forgiveness from God. In Surah Al-Araf, in 7199, it is stated, Hold to forgiveness, command what is right, and turn away from the ignorant. This verse encourages a forgiving and tolerant attitude, even towards those who may have wronged us. By embodying forgiveness, believers can foster a more harmonious and peaceful society, free from the cycles of revenge and resentment. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, referred to as a mercy to the worlds in Surah Al-Anbiya 21-107, exemplified compassion and mercy in his life. His interactions with people of all backgrounds, including those who opposed him, were marked by kindness, patience, and understanding. The Prophet's life serves as a practical example for Muslims, 
demonstrating how to live out the Quranic teachings of compassion in everyday life. His treatment of enemies, his care for the poor and sick, and his forgiveness of those who wronged him are enduring lessons in compassionate conduct. Compassion in the Quran also extends to animals and the environment. Believers are reminded that all creatures are part of God's creation and deserve to be treated with respect and care. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized kind treatment of animals, forbidding cruelty, and encouraging humane practices. This holistic view of compassion fosters a sense of stewardship towards the earth and its inhabitants, promoting sustainable and ethical living. Furthermore, compassion in the Quran is not just about actions but also about intentions and attitudes. Believers are encouraged to cultivate a compassionate heart, free from malice, envy, and hatred. In Surah Al-Imran 3.134, it is mentioned that the righteous are those who control their anger and forgive others. This internal cultivation of compassion is essential for maintaining personal peace and contributing to societal harmony. In addition to personal and social dimensions, compassion in the Quran has a spiritual aspect. Acts of compassion and mercy are seen as a means to attain God's pleasure and blessings. By being compassionate, believers align themselves with the divine attributes and draw closer to God. This spiritual dimension adds a profound significance to compassionate actions, motivating believers to consistently strive for kindness and mercy in their lives. In conclusion, compassion and mercy are integral to the teachings of the Quran. They permeate all aspects of a believer's life, from family relationships and social interactions to environmental stewardship and spiritual growth. By embodying these qualities, Muslims can fulfill their religious obligations, contribute to a just and harmonious society, and attain a closer connection with God. The Quran's emphasis on compassion and mercy serves as a timeless guide for living a life of kindness, empathy, and righteousness. The Quran places a strong emphasis on the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom, considering it an essential aspect of a believer's life. This quest for understanding is not limited to religious knowledge but extends to all fields of human inquiry. The Quran encourages believers to seek knowledge, reflect on the world around them, and use their intellect to understand the signs of God in creation. This emphasis on learning and intellectual curiosity reflects the Quran's view that knowledge is a means to better understand the world fulfill one's duties responsibly, and contribute to the betterment of society. The first revelation received by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a command to read and seek knowledge. In Surah Al-Alaq 96 1-5 it is stated, Read in the name of your Lord who created, created man from a clot, read, and your Lord is the most generous, who taught by the pen, taught man, that which he knew not. These verses highlight the importance of literacy, education, and the transmission of knowledge. They signify the beginning of the Quranic revelation and underscore the central role of knowledge in Islam. The Quran repeatedly encourages believers to reflect on the natural world and draw lessons from it. In Surah Al-Imran, 3.190.191, it is mentioned, Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day, are signs for those of understanding, who remember Allah while standing or sitting or lying on their sides, and give thought to the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, Our Lord, you did not create this aimlessly, Exalted are you above such a thing, then protect us from the punishment of the fire. This exhortation to ponder the natural phenomena encourages a scientific and reflective approach to understanding the universe, recognizing the signs of God's wisdom in creation. 
The pursuit of knowledge in Islam is not confined to religious studies, but includes all beneficial knowledge. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim. This hadith highlights the importance of education for both men and women, emphasizing that acquiring knowledge is a lifelong obligation. The Islamic tradition has a rich history of scholarship in various fields, including science, medicine, mathematics, astronomy, and philosophy. Muslim scholars like Al-Khwarizmi, Ibn Sina, Avicenna, and Al-Razi made significant contributions to their respective fields, driven by the Quranic encouragement to seek knowledge. The Quran also highlights the value of wisdom, which goes hand in hand with knowledge. Wisdom, or hikmah, involves the application of knowledge in a thoughtful and ethical manner. In Surah Al-Baqarah 2269, it is mentioned, He grants wisdom to whom he wills, and whoever has been granted wisdom has certainly been given much good, and none will remember except those of understanding. This verse emphasizes that wisdom is a divine gift and a source of great benefit. It encourages believers to seek not only knowledge, but also the wisdom to use that knowledge in a way that aligns with ethical and moral principles. The pursuit of knowledge in Islam is also closely linked to personal and spiritual growth. The Quran encourages believers to seek knowledge that enhances their understanding of God's creation and their place within it. This spiritual dimension of learning fosters humility, gratitude, and a deeper connection with God. By seeking knowledge, believers can better understand their responsibilities and fulfill their duties with greater awareness and sincerity. Education and knowledge also play a crucial role in promoting social justice and equity. The Quran advocates for the right to education for all individuals, regardless of gender, race, or social status. This inclusive approach to education helps to empower individuals, reduce social inequalities, and promote a more just and equitable society. By ensuring that everyone has access to education, the Quranic teachings contribute to the overall well-being and development of the community. The importance of seeking knowledge is further emphasized through the concept of ishtihad, which refers to the process of making independent reasoning in the interpretation of Islamic law. Ijtihad encourages scholars to engage in critical thinking and adapt the application of Islamic principles to contemporary issues. This dynamic and flexible approach to jurisprudence ensures that Islamic teachings remain relevant and applicable in different contexts and times. The Quran also encourages the dissemination of knowledge in teaching others. In Surah Al-Mujadala, 5811, it is stated, Allah will raise those who have believed among you and those who were given knowledge by degrees. This verse highlights the elevated status of those who seek and share knowledge. Teaching and spreading knowledge are seen as acts of charity and service to the community, contributing to the collective intellectual and moral development of society. Moreover, the Quranic emphasis on knowledge fosters a culture of curiosity and inquiry. Believers are encouraged to ask questions, seek answers, and continuously expand their understanding. This culture of inquiry promotes intellectual growth and innovation, driving progress in various fields. The historical contributions of Muslim scholars to science, medicine, philosophy, and the arts are a testament to this spirit of inquiry and the Quranic encouragement to seek knowledge. In contemporary times, the Quranic emphasis on knowledge and education remains highly relevant. The modern world faces numerous challenges that require informed and thoughtful solutions. By adhering to the Quranic principles of seeking knowledge and wisdom, believers can contribute to addressing these challenges and promoting human well-being. Education and knowledge are powerful tools for empowering individuals 
fostering social harmony and driving positive change. In conclusion, the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom is a fundamental aspect of the Quranic teachings. It encompasses a broad and inclusive approach to learning, encouraging believers to seek knowledge in all fields and apply it ethically and thoughtfully. The Quran's emphasis on education promotes personal growth, social justice, and intellectual advancement. By embracing these teachings, believers can contribute to the betterment of society and fulfill their responsibilities with greater understanding and sincerity. The Quran's call to seek knowledge remains a timeless and universal directive, guiding individuals towards a life of purpose, reflection, and continuous learning. Justice is a fundamental principle in the Quran, and it calls for fairness and equity in all aspects of life. The Quran envisions a society where justice prevails and the rights of individuals are protected. This emphasis on justice reflects the Quran's commitment to creating a balanced and harmonious society. Justice, or ADL in Arabic, is a recurring theme in the Quran and is considered one of the highest virtues that believers are encouraged to uphold. One of the central tenets of justice in the Quran is the concept of legal and ethical fairness. The Quran commands believers to stand firm for justice, even if it goes against their own interests or the interests of their families. In Surah An-Nisa 4135, it is stated, O you who have believed, be persistently standing firm in justice, witnesses for Allah, even if it be against yourselves or parents and relatives. Whether one is rich or poor, Allah is more worthy of both. So follow not personal inclination, lest you not be just. And if you distort your testimony, or refuse to give it, then indeed Allah is ever, with what you do, acquainted. This verse highlights the importance of impartiality and integrity in the pursuit of justice, underscoring that justice should not be influenced by personal biases or social status. The Quran also emphasizes the protection of the rights of the vulnerable and marginalized. It calls for the fair treatment of orphans, widows, and those in need. In Surah Al-Baqarah 2177, it is mentioned, Righteousness is not that you turn your faces toward the east or the west, but true righteousness is in one who believes in Allah, the last day, the angels, the book, and the prophets, and gives his wealth, in spite of love for it, to relatives, orphans, the needy, the traveler, those who ask for help and for freeing slaves. This verse underscores the Quranic vision of a just society where the welfare of all members, especially the vulnerable, is safeguarded. By ensuring the rights and dignity of the disadvantaged, the Quran promotes a culture of compassion and social responsibility. Justice in the Quran is also closely linked to the concept of accountability. Believers are reminded that they will be held accountable for their actions on the Day of Judgment. This divine accountability serves as a moral compass, guiding individuals to act justly and ethically in their dealings. In Surah Al-Anbiya 2147, it is mentioned, and we set a just balance for the Day of Resurrection, so that no soul is wronged in the least, and if there be the weight of a mustard seed, we will bring it and sufficient are we as reckoners. This verse highlights the meticulous nature of divine justice, where every action, no matter how small, is weighed and judged fairly. The awareness of this ultimate accountability encourages believers to uphold justice in their daily lives. The Quran also addresses the importance of standing against oppression and injustice. Believers are urged to support the oppressed and challenge tyrannical rulers. In Surah An-Nisa 475, it is stated, And what is the matter with you that you fight, not in the cause of Allah, and for the oppressed among men, women, and children who say, Our Lord, take us out of this city of oppressive people, and appoint for us from yourself a protector, and appoint for us from yourself a helper. 
This verse calls for active participation in the struggle against oppression, highlighting the Quran's advocacy for social justice and the protection of human rights. In addition to legal and social justice, the Quran also emphasizes economic justice. It calls for the fair distribution of wealth and resources, condemning exploitation and economic disparity. The practice of zakat, or almsgiving, is a key mechanism for achieving economic justice. Zakat ensures that wealth is redistributed from the rich to the poor, promoting economic equity and social solidarity. In Surah at tauba in 960, it is mentioned, Zakat expenditures are only for the poor, and for the needy and for those employed to collect zakat, and for bringing hearts together, for Islam, and for freeing captives, or slaves, and for those in debt, and for the cause of Allah, and for the stranded traveler, an obligation imposed by Allah, and Allah is knowing and wise. This verse outlines the beneficiaries of zakat, illustrating the Quranic commitment to addressing economic disparities and supporting the underprivileged. Justice in the Quran also extends to the realm of interpersonal relationships. Believers are encouraged to act justly in their interactions with others, including family members, friends, and strangers. The Quran calls for honesty, fairness, and respect in all dealings. In Surah Al-Ma'idah 5.8, it is stated, O you who have believed, be persistently standing firm for Allah, witnesses in justice, and do not let the hatred of a people prevent you from being just. Be just, that is nearer to righteousness, and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is acquainted with what you do. This verse emphasizes that justice should prevail even in the face of personal animosities, underscoring the importance of fairness and objectivity. Moreover, the Quran encourages the establishment of just governance and leadership. Leaders are expected to rule with justice and integrity, ensuring the welfare of their people. In Surah Sad 38-26, it is mentioned, O David, indeed we have made you a successor upon the earth. So judge between the people in truth and do not follow your own desire, as it will lead you astray from the way of Allah. This verse highlights the responsibility of leaders to uphold justice and avoid personal biases, reflecting the Quranic vision of righteous leadership. Patience and perseverance are vital qualities that the Quran emphasizes for believers, especially in the face of adversity. The concept of saber, patience, is central to Islamic teachings, encouraging believers to remain steadfast and hopeful during challenging times. The Quran recognizes that life is filled with trials and tribulations, and it provides guidance on how to navigate these difficulties with faith and resilience. The Quran presents patience as an active and dynamic quality, not merely a passive acceptance of circumstances. It involves maintaining faith in God, trusting His wisdom, and continuing to strive for goodness despite hardships. In Surah Al-Baqarah 2.153, it is stated, O you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. This verse emphasizes that patience, coupled with prayer, is a powerful means of seeking divine support and guidance. The assurance that God is with those who are patient provides comfort and strength to endure trials. The Quran illustrates the importance of patience through the stories of various prophets. The story of Prophet Ayyub, Job, is a profound example of patience in the face of immense suffering. Ayyub endured severe physical and emotional pain, yet he remained steadfast in his faith and continued to praise God. His unwavering patience was eventually rewarded with relief and blessings. This narrative highlights that enduring trials with patience and trust in God can lead to spiritual growth and eventual deliverance. Similarly, the story of Prophet Yusuf, Joseph, demonstrates patience in the face of betrayal and injustice. 
Yusuf faced numerous hardships, including being sold into slavery and wrongfully imprisoned. Despite these challenges, he remained patient and maintained his faith in God's plan. His perseverance ultimately led to his rise to a position of power and the reconciliation with his family. This story underscores that patience and perseverance can lead to positive outcomes, even when the path is fraught with difficulties. The Quran also emphasizes the importance of patience in dealing with interpersonal conflicts and challenges. Believers are encouraged to respond to hostility and aggression with patience and forgiveness. In Surah Fusilat 41 34 35, it is mentioned, and not equal are the good deed and the bad. Repel evil by that deed which is better, and thereupon the one whom between you and him is enmity will become as though he was a devoted friend. But none is granted it except those who are patient, and none is granted it except one having a great portion of good. This verse highlights that responding to negativity with patience and goodness can transform adversarial relationships and foster harmony. Patience is also linked to the concept of gratitude in the Quran. Believers are encouraged to remain grateful to God in all circumstances, recognizing that every situation, whether good or bad, is part of God's divine plan. In Surah Al-Baqarah, 2286, it is stated, Allah does not burden a soul beyond that it can bear. This verse reassures believers that their trials are tailored to their capacity, and maintaining patience and gratitude can help them navigate these challenges with strength and resilience. Moreover, patience in the Quran is associated with the pursuit of long-term goals and aspirations. Believers are urged to remain patient in their efforts to achieve their objectives, whether in their personal, professional, or spiritual lives. The Quran acknowledges that success and progress often require sustained effort and perseverance. In Surah Al-Insan 76, 22-24, it is mentioned, Indeed, this is a reward for you, and your effort has been appreciated. Indeed, it is we who have sent down to you, O Muhammad, the Quran progressively. So be patient for the decision of your Lord, and do not obey from among them a sinner or ungrateful disbeliever. This verse emphasizes the value of continuous effort and patience in achieving one's goals and fulfilling one's divine mission. The Quran also provides practical guidance on how to cultivate patience. Believers are encouraged to engage in regular prayer, seek God's guidance, and maintain a positive outlook. In Surah Al-Baqarah 245, it is stated, and seek help through patience and prayer. And indeed, it is difficult except for the humbly submissive to Allah. This verse highlights the importance of spiritual practices in developing patience and resilience. By turning to God in prayer and seeking His support, believers can strengthen their capacity to endure hardships. Additionally, the Quranic teachings on patience extend to the community level. Believers are encouraged to support each other in times of difficulty, fostering a sense of solidarity and mutual aid. In Surah Al-Asr 103, 1-3, it is mentioned, by time indeed mankind is in loss, except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience. This verse underscores the collective responsibility to uphold truth and patience, promoting a culture of support and encouragement within the community. In conclusion, patience and perseverance are integral to the teachings of the Quran. They provide believers with the strength to face life's challenges with faith and resilience. The Quran presents patience as an active quality, encouraging believers to trust in God's wisdom, remain steadfast in their efforts, and respond to adversity with positivity and forgiveness. By embodying these qualities, believers can navigate the trials of life, achieve their long-term goals, 
and contribute to the well-being of their communities. The Quran's emphasis on patience serves as a timeless guide for enduring hardships and cultivating a life of faith, gratitude, and perseverance.